In emergency medical settings, the sternal rub serves as a common method to assess a patient's responsiveness. By vigorously rubbing the sternum with knuckles, EMTs and paramedics aim to elicit a pain response from the patient. The duration of the stimulus is crucial, as it directly influences the interpretation of the patient's neurological function. Typically, if a patient does not respond within a few seconds of the sternal rub, it is assumed they are unresponsive, suggesting a potential compromise in brain function. However, anecdotal evidence suggests that some patients may require up to 30 seconds of sustained pressure to react, challenging the traditional interpretation. This prolonged response time could imply a delayed but intact neurological response rather than brain dysfunction. This nuance underscores the importance of applying the sternal rub for an adequate duration before concluding unresponsiveness. If applied for the full 30 seconds, patients who initially seem unresponsive may exhibit purposeful movements, indicating higher brain function and altering the clinical assessment. Alternative methods like the trapezius pinch and supraorbital pressure offer additional options to assess responsiveness without the ambiguity of reflex responses from peripheral stimuli. These techniques, targeting core areas of the body, provide clearer insights into neurological status during emergency evaluations. Understanding these nuances in painful stimulus application is critical for accurate patient assessment and timely intervention in emergency medical care. It highlights the need for careful observation and adaptation in response to individual patient reactions to ensure accurate clinical decisions.